Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is using the TI-84 Plus to find the following as related to f of x equals negative one-fifth x squared plus 2x minus 4. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do these on your own. All right, to find the max or the min, let's do that first. But before I do anything, I have to type in the function. So you go to y equals. When you go to y equals, you're going to see y1, y2, etc. Just fill in y1. So negative, and make sure that you push the negative here, or you're going to get an error. 1 divided by 5. Variable button gives me x square it plus 2 variable button gives me another x minus 4 all right close parentheses now let's first find the max or the min i know because it's going to be facing downwards right it's going to go like this so that means there's going to be a max so when i graph it going to be a max. So first let me find the max. Go to second calc looking for the max. Now you want to go to the left of the max and try to get close to it. So max and then you're going to go right to it. And these are your boundaries on where the max or the min is because sometimes you can have more than one max or min. So that's why the calculator is asking for this. So you go right to it, click enter. Now your max should be in between them. And it is. So it is 5, comma. One, and I'm rounding. All right, so to find the zeros, which is another word for x-intercepts, you're gonna go to second and then trace or calc zero. So I'm gonna go left to the zero. So I'm gonna find this x-intercept first. So click enter, and then I'm gonna go right. And it looks like it's approximately around to the first decimal place. It's 2.76. So since it's 6, I'm going to go up. So it would be 2.8 comma 0. Got to remember those x-intercepts and zeros are actually points. So I have to write them as points. All right, so let me find the other one. Clicking zero again. Notice I'm going to go left of the point, click enter, and then I'm going to go right to the point and click enter. So that means that my zero or x intercept is in between those two x values. And so I click enter and it finds it to be, again, I want to round to just one decimal place. 7.0. Now I'm going to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is really, really easy to find. So let's uh, get out of this. Well, you know what? I can find it on here. I can use my trace button. Trace. Now, once I hit trace, it's going to trace it, obviously. But then I can just put in 0 for x. Let's put 0 for x. It shows me my y value. So my y-intercept is 0 comma negative 4. Now I can do the same thing with f of 5. I can find out what that is just by tracing it. So again, uh, I'm going to push trace. I didn't have to do that. 
and then just click 5. So y equals 1. Oh, look at that. All right, now to find this, find x when y equals negative 5. And for this, I might have multiple answers. And it looks like I'm going to one over here on the left, the other one on the right. So to do this, go to the y equals screen again. Y to make that negative 5. graph. See there's going to be an intersection here and then intersection over here. So I'm going to mess around with my window and move it over slightly. Just expand it. Notice I have two intersections now. So I'm going to use the intersection button to find uh, my x's. So do second calc intersect. Now again, I want to get close to it as possible, so I'm using the over, you know, over keys, and I'll find this one on the left first. So first curve, enter, second curve, enter, and then guess. All right, so one possibility is that x equals negative point four seven seven. Now it's going to have another possibility over here. X equals. And so I do second calc number five intersect. And I get close as I can to that other intersection as possible. All right, there's my little point. You can see it. Click enter once, second curve, and then you're close to it, and then just push guess. So I'm gonna do three just again, so it's 10 point, three decimal places, um, point, yeah, 10.477. All right, so there you go. And that's it.